in this video we are going to discuss about the different email protocols that are being used email is one of the most popular uses of internet email is used to send messages across to your friends or your colleagues quickly currently as per a study there are 2.6 billion registered email users of the internet and every day they are sending 205 billion messages quite mind boggling if you remember the email was first started in 1972 by roy tomlinson at that a point of time even he could not imagine that this is how it will grow so let's look at what are the protocols that are used to send these many billions of messages across the internet smtp simple mail transfer protocol it was introduced by rfc 821 in 1982 so what is rfc rfc is a journal request for comments and it is a peer review document what does peer review document mean that computer scientists are writing a article on a topic and then their peers fellow computer scientists are reviewing it that means they are vetting it they are saying that yes this is right and rfc is used to set down the rules and regulations for communication over the internet so what does smtp do smtp is used by mail servers and mail transfer agents to send the messages now let's first understand how a mail goes from the one node to another node if i am sending a mail to my colleague who is uh, in a different city sitting there in his office then when i am sending a mail then from my mailbox it will go to a mail server from that mail server it will go to the mail server that is maybe located in his office or in his city and from there it will be delivered to his workstation to his system or his mobile so there are mail servers that are involved and then there are our inboxes where we are receiving and sending the mails so smtp is used by the mail servers and mail transfer agents only they are not used by inboxes for that we have a different protocol which is the pop 3 protocol what does pop stand for post office protocol version 3 so there was initially a pop post office protocol later version 1 version 2 currently we are using a version 3 protocol so what does pop 3 do pop 3 is an application layer protocol that is used by the email clients to receive it into their own mailboxes i am sending a request for mail to the server and that server is sending that mail to my colleague sitting somewhere else so what is essentially happening is to retrieve that in his own mailbox the colleague would be using a pop 3 protocol now pop 3 is very simple protocol it allows only one inbox in your mail as you can see here pop 3 supports only one mail server for each mailbox right now i had explained to you that there are mail servers through which my mail is going so every body has his or her own mail server every organization so you are sending a mail using your office server that will have a different server you are using gmail for sending mails so gmail will be having its own mail server someone is using outlook someone is using yahoo mail so they will all be having different mail servers now pop 3 will support only one mail server but actually that is not very feasible because i might be having an account with my own office with gmail with yahoo mail also or maybe an outlook email account also so what i would want is that when i am sitting on my system i can retrieve all the mails from all these servers but pop 3 supports only one mail server so what do we do now we use a different protocol which is the imap what is imap internet message access protocol that is the basic difference between pop 3 and imap imap will allow you to retrieve mails from different mail boxes so this is the advantages that it provides faster response time multiple mail clients like i gave you an example gmail yahoo outlook all will come in my own inbox which is situated on my own system it keeps track of message status 
So you might have sent a mail and then you can click that when the ma mail is delivered, you will get a notification. The mail is read, you will get a notification. This is possible by using IMAP protocol. If you are using POP3, you cannot do these. And last but not the least, you can search for messages on the server. So you will say that why do I need to ser search on the server? Why can't I do it on my own system? Well, that is another difference between POP3 and IMAP. POP3 will get the mails on your system and it will delete from the server, not IMAP. IMAP will keep one copy of the mail on the server so that if you are accessing at one point of time your mailbox from your system, your computer, desktop, at office, you can see all the mails. If you are accessing it from your laptop at a different point of time, you can still see all the mails. If you are accessing from your mobile, you can still see all the mails in your inbox. This was not possible by POP3. So this is how IMAP has made it possible to co keep connected with all our friends across the world. In this video, we have seen what email protocols are and how they help us in sending and receiving messages all over the world. In the next video, we are going to discuss about VOIP protocol, voice over internet protocol.